In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a hover effect to your header. So let's go ahead and begin here. So the first thing is we're going to target our selector, uh, which is our current section that we're working on. And we're going to add some curly brackets. And then we're going to do an opacity of zero. And for those of you wondering how to do this without Elementor Pro, I'll be showing you how to do that towards the end of the video. Uh, it's very simple. So right after you, we've set our opacity to zero, we're going to go ahead and add our hover effect. Go ahead and add selector, colon, hover, curly brackets. In between those curly brackets, we're going to do an opacity of one. Now, as you can see, if I hover over it, we're going to have that um, hover effect, but we don't have a nice transition. So let's go ahead and add our transition. And we're going to do a transition of all. Uh, we're going to do about 0 0.3 seconds. And we're going to do an easing. We're going to do ease. And we're going to add a semicolon to end it. And then now, you can see that's still not working. So what we need to do is add important. So right after ease, do an exclamation point, And then do important. And it should work properly. There we go. As you can see. It works perfectly as long as we hover wherever our header is currently at. Now, for those of you wondering how to do this without Elementor Pro, um, it's quite simple. So basically, you're going to use the same code and you're going to paste it into your customizer, except we're not going to use selector. We're going to go ahead and add a class to the section. We're going to probably give it a um, name of hover dash header and then grab this CSS class. And then go ahead and paste it in here. Just make sure you add a, oops. Go ahead and paste it in here. And then add a dot um, right at the beginning. And then go ahead and now grab this again. And then paste it right where the selector is. And there you have it. Now we'll have the same effect. And you can just paste this in your customizer. And you'll be all set. Now that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was a quick one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.